Hello everyone, this is Susan from Susan Hiles Art and welcome to my channel for my Monday crafty chit chat and slow stitching video. So today we're going to work on our next three and a half inch square block and these are the ones we've done so far and I haven't picked anything out so I think we're going to be picking out some fabrics in this video. Now I do already have, oh, what did I do with it? I lost it. Um, I have a couple squares, square blocks ready to go, except I don't know what I, here we go. Okay, uh, maybe I only have one left. Yeah, I think I only have this one left because we used one for this. So I'll end up having to cut more of these little blocks. Um, but what I wanted to do was just kind of spend a little time and pick out the colors for the next block. And what I was thinking originally was to do something with yellow, right? And I picked out, just real quick, I just picked out all of these and, and let me just kind of put them here so you can see them. And I thought, well, I mean, that's like a pretty combination, right? I do like it. And I thought I could even pull in a little bit of this because there's a little bit of pink there. But when I look at this yellow, with the rest of them. Oh, and I have a Band-Aid on my hand because I burned my hand <laughs> on the oven the other day and I have this scab, a nasty looking, it doesn't hurt or anything, but it looks awful, uh, a scab on here. So I figured I would put a Band-Aid on <laughs> so that you guys don't have to look at my burned hand. <laughs> um, but anyway, so I I don't know. I'm I'm not liking the yellow so i'm like you know what i think i'm gonna just kind of scrap this idea for now i'm just gonna move all this to the side i'm not i'm not feeling it so when i sat down just a few minutes ago right to do this video i'm like i would really love to use this fabric button and uh or a flower uh, with a button on it and this is something that i had actually made and all i did was in fact i had um basically copied this one here that I had purchased on Etsy long ago. And all it is is taking a fabric, and you could use multiple uh, designs, you know, patterns on your fabric, but I did um, all one pattern. And you just cut a whole bunch of one, two, three, four, five, six, I think I have six different layers, maybe seven here of different size circles. So you start with one size and you go a little bit smaller, a little bit smaller, a little bit smaller, a little bit smaller. And then you fray the edges really well. And all I did was sew in the middle and sew a button on and I have this adorable flower. So now that's obviously big right so when i go to put fabric around it i don't know i don't i don't know so how about we kind of look through this let me get rid of this stuff right here and let's kind of look through here um because what i'm afraid of is if i do use this particular flower it's really gonna cut down on the fabric underneath, right? I mean, you can really only see basically the four corners. So I don't know that I wanna do that, but we can give it a try, right? That's all we can do is, is give it a try. So I'm just gonna look, you know, actually this kind of goes really good with this. <laughs> look at that. I may have to switch back to this flower. Um, let's see what I have in here. 
And I'm, I'm keeping in mind as I look through this that I don't want anything that's too bright, right? Because these other blocks are not bright. So if I went and I did that, well, I don't know, I'm not loving it so far, but let's see. I might could even do black. Let's try black. I kind of like that, right? Because with the other black that we have, I kind of like that. And I have, I have a good amount of black. So let me see, this is a black scarf, silk scarf. Oh, that would look kind of cool, right? So, well, let me just kind of fold it so we can get a feel for the size. Okay, so that's, you know, really roughly, that's like the size of the block. And then if that were put on the back, I don't think I like that black as much as I liked this black. Um, let's see what else is in here. Now that I'm thinking black, now that's what I'm looking for. Uh, there's more of that scarf. I should really do something with denim because I have a lot of denim that I've never used. This is kind of cute, the little paw prints. And then I have this. These are all little, what, two or two and a half inch squares. Here's some more denim. I'm gonna keep this denim pulled out. Here's some black. Oh, I think I'm leaning towards the black. And I think, well, let me see if I can find one more piece. And I don't need a lot. So this bin right here happens to have a little bit bigger sizes of scraps. Uh, I'm not really seeing any more black there. Uh, I mean, I could possibly use I mean, I tried using this once before. I'll pull that out again. And here's a little piece of black. All right, I'm just gonna play around just a little bit here. So right now I have a whole bunch of stuff pulled out. <laughs> I think I decided I didn't want this. So I'm gonna put that back. And so let's just say and this is hard to, to do, but I'm gonna try to do it. Like, I don't care that this is a flower. What I care about is that black in the middle. So say I just even put that there. And then we had little paw prints over here. I'm gonna try to fold this behind. And if we pulled in a little piece of this down here, I can't really fold this piece, so, but you guys get the feel for it, right? So if I did that with that on it, or is that too much? I kind of like it. Like when you look at the other pieces with it, I kind of like that. It's a little weird, right? <laughs> Let's see, Let's, let me just kind of play with this for a second. Because I have used this once before on a block right over here. So I could technically use that piece right there. Look at that. It fits perfectly. Ooh, what do you think? What do you, I like that. I kind of like that. It's, it's, I see quadrants, right? It's definitely four four different 
quadrants on this block. Sorry, I'm thinking. It's like I'm either thinking or talking. <laughs> Apparently, I'm not doing both at the same time. Um, of course, I still have some of this eyelash trim, too. I really like that, but I need something else, right? Um, do I need black? I could use white. I could use white. Let's try. Let's see what I have in here. So, of course, I have my, um, Yep, I have my eyelid trim. Oh, see, something like that is really pretty. Oh, I like that a lot. Let me pull that out. I have this white trim here, lace, lacy trim. Oh, gosh, there's a lot in here. All right, so let me pull out <laughs> all of those, and let's see... I'm going to put the black to the side for a minute, and let's think about white. See, I like that, and I like this because it has pretty, um, like a ruffle to it, and I think that that would look pretty. This one, I think, might be a better color, but it's not big enough. But do I need it to be big enough? I could just add it like that just as a as a piece on there I could do that I kind of like that see the problem is this not that it's a problem but what I'm seeing is that even though this fabric is very very white this is not and like I said that's not a problem it's just what it is so I kind of have to decide which way I want to go. Do I want to go white or do I want to go off-white? This, I think, is so pretty. I don't know. I don't know. This, I wish, was a little bit longer. Not that it has to be the whole length, but I have to say, I really do love this ruffled look. What if I went with this and did a ruffled look? You know what, that's what I'm gonna do. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay, I'm gonna put the rest of this away. And I'm not, I'm gonna, I have an idea in my head. It's not gonna be, super uniform with these ruffles um let me move all this all right so now let's see um let me take this off and i'm just gonna kind of go with the flow here so this well this i'm gonna cut right here because that fit very well right here right this square, I don't have to cut it. I could, I could cut it in half and maybe I will because really the majority of it is going to be lost. But what I will do, let me, because I want this in that corner, you know, and in the end, will I even be able to see it? <laughs> Who knows? Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, that's not tearing. It should tear. Maybe it's the way that the, uh, there we go. The, the way that the thread is on it. Um, you know, I'm going to kind of leave that like that. I'm going to turn my iron on while I'm doing this. I actually used my iron yesterday uh, to iron a shirt I'm going to be wearing to my granddaughter's eighth grade graduation um which is well it's monday so i'm recording this on sunday morning and uh tomorrow monday the day the video goes out 
she will be graduating eighth grade at night and so I wanted she needed to have her um, have her gown you know her graduation gown uh, ironed is that what you call it a gown what do you call it I don't know um, so I did that for her and then I had a shirt I actually bought a new shirt <laughs> I haven't bought a new shirt or anything like that in so long I just haven't you know when you're not going to the office every day <laughs> it's like it doesn't matter you don't need to uh to have new clothes necessarily um all right so i think that that's good right i can see that i think that that's good let me give this an iron all right and while I pin this down, um, I'm going to go ahead and tell you about my week. I actually ended up going to out to lunch twice last week. I went on, um, well, actually, no, I take, well, well, one day on Thursday, which I want to tell you more about because it was it was interesting. So on Thursday, a friend of mine, he picked me up and we went to Jockey Hollow, which I'll explain what that is in a minute. And um, then we came back to my house and and we ate lunch. Um, yeah, so that was super duper duper nice. Um, and then, and then on Friday, I met my old pastor for, for lunch. And she's wonderful. Oh, my God. <laughs> she just makes me laugh hysterically. <laughs> and, um, but anyways, and she's starting a new study on the book of Psalms. And, um... So I think I'm going to go. It actually starts Thursday night and just a few nights from when this video goes out. And um, so I ordered the book. And yeah, so I'll share, if I remember, hopefully I'll remember, I'll share the name of that book with all of you when I actually arrives. So I'm excited about that. I'm not liking how this is different right there. Let me fix that. See, the thing is, as I've said before, is my block. It can bend and move and, and get misshapen quite easily. So... So anyway, so on Thursday, when I went to Jockey Hollow, um, I've gone there before with this friend of mine. I've known him. His name is Thomas. I have known him for 23 years, and I met him, actually, the, for the very first time in my kitchen in this house. <laughs> um, back in the day, uh, you know, I had went to a different church, which... I still just adore everybody there, um, but it is, um, I think I want white thread for this. Um, and like back in the day after church every single Sunday, you know, we would do something. And so I had everybody over my house, you know, one of us, we would go stop and get some bagels and cream cheese, and then we would just all sit around and have coffee and talk. There was, you know, a good group of us. I don't know, maybe eight or ten of us. It was, it was, it was great. It was wonderful. And um, my my one friend, he um, 
on his way to my house, <laughs> he picked up Thomas. Thomas was walking. Thomas didn't have a car at that time. And this was in May of May or April of 2000. And um, so Thomas, he brought, he picked Thomas up. He knew, he knew Thomas. Um, and he, he saw Thomas walking and he stopped and he picked him up and he brought him to my house. <laughs> and I mean, we've been friend, friends ever since. I mean, we're just friends. We've, I don't know. Um, yeah, 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 we're just friends. And um, I adore him. You know, he's, he's, he's wonderful, such a awesome man of God. Oh, I didn't. Uh, wait one second. Wait one second. Uh, let me. Is that right? Uh, I never pinned this piece down. I thought I did, but I didn't. You guys might have caught that. I did not. So anyway, so then, so Thomas, he asked me if I wanted to go back to Jockey Hollow with him. It is so peaceful there. And what Jockey Hollow is, is it is where during the Revolutionary War, um, George Washington and his troops actually stayed um, in Marstown. So uh, there's, a, you know, I'm not big on history, but I am interested in, in this. It was in 1779 and 1780. That winter, they stayed um, in Mar Marstown, New Jersey, which is the next town from me. And... Um, uh, it's such a long story, but anyway, they, it was the worst winter. They said that anybody that was alive at that time, it was the worst winter that any of them could remember. There were like 27 snowstorms and, you know, these, you have these thousands of men that barely had shoes right? Never mind coats. You know, they just, their everything was ragged. They didn't have food. Just, you know, and just think about it being freezing cold every day and then in the snow and, and, but anyways, they built, um, I forget exactly how many, but a lot, like over a thousand huts. I think they were like 12 feet by 16 feet. And, um, yeah, there were, uh, one wall was a fireplace, and then the other three walls were um, bunk beds. I think there were 12 men that stayed in each. And so just throughout the whole winter, and here they are, they're in a war. It was the, it was, it was um, to fight off the British. So, I mean, I'm not good with history. I hated history in school. <laughs> <laughs> I absolutely hated it um, because I am just not one to like remember dates and stuff like that, which is kind of funny since that's also very much what the Bible is. And yet I read the Bible. So, yeah. So anyway, but um, so Jockey Hollow is where they built the cabins um, and they had to, so at that point, uh, the British were in New York City, which like I've said before, is not far from here at all, but they chose this area because it's in between New York City and Philadelphia, and there's a set of mountains um, here in New Jersey, the Wachung Mountains, that basically separate from where they were over here in Marstown, New Jersey, and New York City. And so between that, like uh, George Washington had sent scouts out to find land 
Um, and this was the land that they found and they thought would be best for what needed to happen. And, um, and because there were farmers here and there was um, like industry here, so they felt that um, it was it was a good place for for many reasons um, you know like they felt that like the farmers would you know be able to assist with food and you know the industry possibly I don't know with ammunitions I don't know that that part I don't know but um yeah so I mean George Washington he stayed in a house that's probably two to three miles from my house. And um, it was with a family, The they were the Fords, and George and Martha Washington actually lived in that house with that family. The family stayed there with their kids, um, but George and Mar Martha Washington lived there um, when they were in this area and they were in this area during um i want to say in the in the winter of 1780 and yeah so again i'm not doing any of this straight <laughs> oh my gosh all right um so anyway so it's just very interesting and you know there they have there's a garden there uh, that we like to go look at, or I like to go look at. Anyway, I don't know if Thomas necessarily likes to look at it, but he's very patient, and <laughs> I have to look at every single thing. Um, but they have, I don't know how big it is, maybe, I don't know, maybe 24 feet by 24 feet, uh, a regular, you know, garden. Uh, in-ground garden and they plant herbs and flowers that would have been planted at that time um, in the late 1700s and it's just super interesting to you know each plant they'll put down well what the plant is but what it was used for medicinally so it's just very 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 interesting um, and I really like that so we go through the garden, and this time we even went to the museum that was there. I hadn't been in the museum before, and that was super interesting. They had like this little 15-minute video where it explained just like, you know, the men, and there were men that, I mean, they were so starving, but, you know, that basically defected and, and would run off during the night. Um to get away and you know you wonder whatever happened with these men like did they end up surviving or not surviving I don't know but um probably both right um so yeah so yeah so that was part of the revolutionary war and yes Washington slept here yes he did <laughs> and um yeah, and so like the Wick House is still there. So there was a um, a man, uh, oh, I forget his first name, but his last name was Wick. And he had this house in where Jockey Hollow is. And he was just a, um, a he wasn't part of the military, but the major general that, that was... I don't know, overseeing or whatever, all of these men that were here, all of the military men, um, he actually lived in the Wick House. That's what they call it these days, the Wick House. And you can take a tour of it. And I've done that where, you know, you look through um, how it would have been and you know they have the old clothes and games and books and it was just really it's super interesting you know and I'm not normally like I kind of mentioned into history at all I think about 
them all the time. It, it's weird. I know that this is going to sound super strange, but in the winter, when it is freezing outside, and here I am all bundled up with all of my my gear, right? My gloves, my hat, my scarf, and and I actually think about these men that had to live through like the worst winter. There were, I don't know, four to six feet of snow. There was four to six feet of snow. And just, I mean, I can't even imagine um, that and being that cold and and working in that cold and having to walk in it. And they were, like I said, building all of these, these cabins, log cabins, right? So they had to cut down the trees and of course it was all done manually. And just super interesting, but I, I often, often, often think about them and how hard it must have been. I mean, I can't even imagine, you know, living, having to live like that. I just can't even imagine it. And, but anyway, so, so I don't know why I got into all of that, but that's where I was on Thursday morning. And, and it's just so beautiful besides, I mean, there's a, a tremendous amount of land but um, <clears throat> between, so the garden that I was mentioning is right next to the Wick House. And um, it's just so serene and quiet and just beautiful there. I mean, it's all trees and then there's this huge orchard of, I assume, apples and that is like right next to it. And it's just, it's like a whole other world, I guess is what I'm trying to say. It's just a whole other world. And just, you, you can just go there and just sit and say nothing and just kind of like soak it all in. And you just think about, you know, all of the men. You, you just know, even where my house is, I'm thinking was part of where they had all of their cabins because it was, I know it was over 1,400 acres. That was just one farm was 1,400 acres and they had, they had taken over more than just that one farm. So 1,400 acres, that's a lot. That's definitely like my property is definitely part of that. I have to investigate that a little bit more. Um, and what else, what else, what else? Um, what else? Oh, and <laughs> I'll just mention one more thing that I think is interesting about that time. And it has to do with where I was born. And so another place where Washington, George Washington would stay. In fact, the first place that he stayed was a tavern in town, in Marstown. And um, that tavern at one point was moved. And it was moved to, um, it's a street called Mount Kimball Avenue. And, and it turned into... Uh, apparently nurses came down from Canada and turned it into um, a hospital called All Souls. Now that building <clears throat> had burned down at one point. Um, so the original building had burned down, uh, but they built the All Souls Hospital across the street from where that tavern was moved that George Washington um, stayed in. And I was born in that hospital, All Souls. That's where I was born. 
I didn't know that. I didn't know that that was a thing. <laughs> that 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 was the history of it. And the building is still there. I mean, it's not used as a hospital. I don't know if it's used for anything at this point. But it is still there. So, yep, yep. And then on Friday, going out to lunch with my... Uh, with my um, old pastor. Uh, oh my gosh, she's just such a who. She is hysterical. She's unlike, I would, I would venture to say this. <laughs> she's unlike any other pastor <laughs> anywhere. <laughs> um, I mean, she's not the head pastor. Um, but she is the woman's pastor and she preaches and everything. And, um, do I have enough of this? Let me see. Maybe I'll switch to this to sew the flower down. It's a little bit different color thread. It's off white. Um, but anyways, we just laugh and laugh and laugh. And she is just so funny and yeah so okay you know I'm gonna sew this down um but you know she's like she's not um a pastor that is I don't know <laughs> she's she just beats to her own drum <laughs> she just does you know and um everybody just loves her because she's so down to earth and she and i were very much the same as far as our knowledge of the bible and our belief and yeah so we're very similar so we've always gotten along really well um like like she has these basically almost quarterly you know women's uh, events women event women's 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 events at the church and you know she would you know pray on what to to speak on and and she would get her 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 theme down and then she went and I we would just get on the the phone and just start talking and I would just I don't know I I was able to not guide her but I was able to um I, I'll say give her ideas um so like for example uh when we were talking about um, studying the book of Psalms, you know, I asked her, I said, do you ever, um, have you ever like taught the women? Um, because it's, it's a, the book of Psalms is going to be in a small group, which happens to be women. It doesn't have to be, but it is. And, and I said to her, I said, have you ever taught the women on how to study a verse or a word? Like, how do you study um, that psalm, for example? What are the different ways that you study? What do you read? Where do you go? What do you look at? And um, so I asked her that. Um, and she said, no, she never did. And then she's starting to think about, um, you know, that it might be a good idea to kind of bring some of that into this study. So that, I mean, I think teaching people how to learn, I think that's important, you know, so... It's great that, you know, she and I, we even study similarly. Um, if we're going to teach on something, we, we, we study very, very similarly. And, you know, so, so that I think is like a really good thing to teach people um, on, on how to do that. So I mentioned that to her. And she said she did not 
Um, all right, I'm just gonna kind of do this and let's see. I can always take it out if I don't like it, but I have a, an idea in my head um, what I wanna do here. I wanna get this really scrunchy. So she said that, you know, she would, um, she thought that that was like a good idea to, you know, spend a little time during this study teaching them how to, to learn and research and study. So something like that, you know, and, and when I think of something like that to mention to her, I have to tell you, it's always of God. It's not, it's not me talking. It's, you know, I just open my mouth and, <laughs> um, yeah. So, um, yeah. And so she liked that idea. And then I was talking to her about, you know, I always wanted to do a study group on uh, what I would call Jesus in Psalms. I love the book of Psalms. It's my favorite book of the Bible. I've done, you know, I would say, you know, a few studies of the entire book. And, um, and because if you... I mean, like as far as prophecy, right? You know, um, talking about the Messiah and just there's so much in the book of Psalms that brings you right back to the New Testament. I just love how you can connect the Old Testament to the New Testament. So the the name of the the study that I would do is is Jesus in Psalms. And I mentioned that to her, and she's, oh, like, so she's, like, talking about, well, you know, if I go to the group that, you know, you know, her and I, we can kind of swap off and on and, and, and teach, and I could go from my perspective of Jesus in Psalms, and, you know, she would more so stick with, with the book or you know, the, the, the study book that we're going to be using or, you know, so anyways, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I want to, I don't know. I don't know. So I did pray about it and I did purchase the book. And so I'm waiting for that to come and look at how cute that is. Oh my gosh. I love it. Look at how cute. It's a little ruffle. It's a little baby ruffle. Do I need more? Maybe just one more down here? Well, the way I can tell is when I put the other blocks around it. That's how I can tell how much it needs. Okay, I have to do one more down here. What else? What else happened? I think last week was a pretty big week. Um, I did a lot in my garden last week. Uh, I have to do an update video for the month of June of my garden. I would say it's probably, there's probably a lot different with it um, than there was a month ago. And yeah, so at this point, and I'm kind of staying at this level Right now I have 44 containers plus a raised bed. So, and I think it's kind of perfect for me. Um, this size it is, well, just the containers alone are double of the size that I had last year. And last year I didn't have a raised bed. So it definitely, let me do one more. It's definitely bigger, but so far it's doable. And I have peas that I can start harvesting. There's not a lot, but one of my pea plants, I have, I don't know, probably five or six different kinds of peas growing. And the one of them has, I can see like three pods on it that I should probably uh, harvest and eat. So I'm excited about that. Oh, and and let me tell you this. So I did learn 
Um, and I kind of figured this out last Sunday night after I did last week's video, uh, this video for my crafty chit chat. And um, that the holes that are in my garden, my containers, are from squirrels and they are not taking, they're leaving. They're leaving like nuts behind. And yeah, so I figured that out. And then Liz, um, it, who is 143 Handmade, so she commented and saying that they're leaving nuts. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I just actually figured that out for myself because I saw another hole and I'm like, I'm going to fill in the hole. And I'm like, there was a little like really old acorn. <laughs> I'm like, where's this acorn coming from? And I'm like, oh my gosh, I think I've seen this before, but it never computed in my head that, oh my gosh, these squirrels are digging to leave their nuts. So I'm not as angry with them anymore than as I was, because <laughs> I thought they were trying to destroy my plants, but they're, they weren't at all. So anyway, Yep. Okay, so I think that this is perfect. So when you see these all together, I think that that's perfect. This blends right in. We got the pinks, we got the blacks, got a little bit of ruffles going on. I think it's perfect. I love it. All right, well, um, that's going to be it for this week. And... I will be back next Monday, and we will continue. And yeah, so thank you so much for all of you being here. I just um, love your comments and um, hearing about your garden and your sewings and whatever it is that you're, you're working on. I love to hear about it, so leave me a comment. I will definitely uh, respond. So thank you so much for being here. Have a wonderfully blessed week, and I'll see you next Monday. Bye-bye.